Hey guys, it's Danica and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I hope you get to know me. Anyway, you guys can see the title. Kaya hindi ko napapatagalin pa. Sasabihin ko na, I am going to get a nose job. And honestly, I don't know how to start this vlog. Iniisip ko, paano ko ba sasabihin or how do I explain this? Sobrang dami kong gustong sabihin, but at the same time, hindi ko alam kung saan, kung paano ko uumpisahan. But before anything else, I just want to say that this decision is something that I've really thought about for a long time. Hindi ko lang siya bigla-bilang naisip, hindi lang last week na isip ko na magpapa nose job ako and stuff like that. No. Um, I've thought about this for almost two years, I think. And yeah, finally, I have already decided na gagawin ko na talaga siya. But also, gusto ko lang din sabihin, especially to the younger ones who are watching, I hope when you watch this video, wag nyo naman gawin to as a basis for your decision to opt for cosmetic surgery right away just because I did it or just because you see people on YouTube and other videos on social media getting a nose job doesn't mean you should already get it dapat pag-isipan nyo din ng maigi your decisions should not be based on the decisions of other people so you have to really know what you want and what will really make you happy huwag kayong magpadali-dali sa mga decisions nyo you have to really think about it and give it time I really know that this decision is gonna make me happy and if I don't do this now I'm just gonna keep on thinking about it and if you want you can talk to your loved ones about it for me I'm very lucky kasi especially yung auntie ko she's very supportive at first she was very skeptical pero naiintindihan niya din naman <laughs> medyo malaki kasi yung butas ng ilong ko <laughs> anyway um, yeah, I talked to my loved ones about this before I, I really set my mind to do it. Kinausap ko sila and I'm just really glad to get their response. Kasi yung response nila, bahala daw ako kung ano yung magpapasaya sa akin, then go! And I know kahit hindi nila sinabi na we're here to support you, kahit hindi nila sinabi yung words, I know that they're there to support me with this decision and I'm really grateful for that. It's not that I'm not happy with my nose, it's just that, you know, um, there are things that we want to do to feel better and this is just one of the things for me. Also, the reason why I decided to create a vlog or to make an, a documentation is because I have no plans of keeping it a secret. Ayoko naman sabihin natural lang or hindi ko siya pinagalaw. Parang, ang fake ko naman kung ganun. Kaya, I'm really open about it and I'm not gonna lie and I'm gonna tell people that I've had my nose done and I don't see anything wrong about it. Um, the most important thing for me kasi is honesty. So kapag hindi ko sinabi yung totoo sa people na pinagawa ko yung nose ko, parang I'm only lying to myself and to people and I don't like the feeling. So okay na lang sa akin kung may sabihin silang negative things kasi baka ayaw nila nang nagpa-surgery or feeling nila pangit yung magpa-surgery. Mas okay na sa akin nun to hear what they have to say rather than lying to them about what I did. So yung importante lang sa akin, as long as I'm not hurting anyone, as long as I'm not doing anything bad to other people, as long as I'm honest and I'm not lying, then I know I'm gonna be happy with this decision. And I'm not gonna be hunted by it. That's just where I stand. So I hope people will also respect that. Um, I also respect din naman yung mga tao na nagpa-surgery and ayaw nilang, they're not open to talk about it. I understand where they're coming from and let's also just respect them. Yun lang. Let's just please respect each other. Kindness is also a very important thing and we need more kindness in this world so sana we can apply it in everything that we do. And of course, the doctor that is going to perform my operation is one of the best cosmetic surgeons here in Cebu and I'm so, so excited and confident. Diba, medyo nerve-wracking siya kasi it's my first ever surgery but I've known a lot of people who had their surgeries done with this doctor. That's why I'm relaxed. 
relax lang din. Hindi ako masyadong nervous. Although, medyo nervous pa rin. <laughs> because it's my first time. But anyway, the doctor that's going to perform the surgery is no other than Dr. Fremont Pase. So, I'm gonna tell you guys the plan for my nose. Uh, medyo maingay sa labas kasi may nagwawalis. Pero sana hindi maka-distract sa audio. So, as you can see, medyo malapat yung butas ng ilong ko. So, yung gagawin, kukunan lang ng konti yung sides. And medyo malapat din yung tip ng nose ko. Pero wala naman akong problema sa bridge. So, hindi ko siya papalagyan ng bridge. Yung gagawin lang is nose tip plasty. So, lalagyan ako ng tip. Kukunan ng cartilage yung ear ko. And yun lang. Uh, medyo in-enhance lang yung nose ko. But it's still, it's still a nose job. Kasi nga, it's still open surgery. So, sasabihin ko lang yung mga preparations that I did prior to my surgery. So, today is Tuesday, September 15th. 2020 and I'm gonna have my operation on Thursday in two days time September 17 and yesterday I already had my laboratory tests done because last week I got a prescription ng doctor for all the laboratory tests that I need to get and also the medications that I need to prepare because as early as of now I need to eat medications just to prepare my body for the operation and also, na secure ko na din yung antibiotics ko and the ointments for the incision and wound. So, yeah, for the laboratory test kahapon, um, I had CBC, bleeding time, clotting time, HEPA B, qualitative test, and also I went to our um, government hospital here in Cebu to have my swab test. Kasi ang mahal talaga ng swab test, and so I'm so grateful for for our government hospital for um, having it for free. And sobrang ganda ng service talaga. I'm so I'm so blessed. And luckily, ang aga dumating na result. I had it yesterday, dumating yung result today through email. And thank God, negative yung result. Thank you, Lord. And yeah, so I am mentally, emotionally, and emotionally, <laughs> emotionally ready for the surgery. And I hope to see you guys on the day that I have my surgery. So I think that's it for now. So while you guys are waiting, um, if you have questions or any other video suggestions or anything you want to say, just comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe. Click on the subscribe button if you haven't yet. And click on the bell button right beside it so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Stay tuned. Hi guys, we're on our way to Maayo Medical because dun gagawin yung operation and I'm with my cousins. Hi Angel! And I have here Kuya Darren and Ate Jess in front. Kuya Darren is the one driving. Hello! Hi Kuya Darren! Hello! So, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> Today is the day. There's no turning back. So wish me luck, guys. And hindi ko pa alam kung like how I should feel because right now I don't feel nervous yet. Pero baka mamaya because currently it's still I think 11 a.m. Oh, 11:30, and the operation is at 1 p.m. Sorry, medyo shaky because. Only using my phone and sana hindi mahina yung boses ko. So I'm gonna update you guys once we arrive and I'm not sure kung pwede mag video inside so we'll see. See you later! Take a video, so I guess I'll see you guys later. So while waiting, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna drink my medications. So sorry, sobrang close up kasi I have to whisper. <laughs> so inum na lang ako ng medications ko, kasi meron ako mga medicine na kailangan inumin um, one hour before the operation. So I guess this is it, guys. Bye. Once 
once again because today I am going to have my stitches removed and medyo healed na siya so I'm really happy about that. Hindi ko pa alam kung magiging painful ba yung removal ng stitches or what and I'm just worried baka may mga holes pa yung skin ko upon removal of the stitches. But ngayon, we're at the bridge and hindi naman traffic so we will get there soon in any minute now and update ko na lang kayo later I'm not sure if I can take a video while we're removing the stitches but we'll see see you Hey guys! Kakatapos ko lang magluto ng breakfast. Sorry if magulo yung background kasi hindi ko pa naayos yung mga gamit ko. And andito lang din ako sa may bintana so that we can get um, better lighting. So, talagang nagmask pa ako para may reveal because I am now going to show you how my nose looks like. And wag muna kayong mag-expect ng perfect kasi it's only been 10 days after the surgery. <coughs> Excuse me. Sabi nila, Doc, um, it's gonna take up to one year to two years for my nose to completely heal. So along the way, it's still gonna continue to heal. And explain ko na lang later once I show you how my face looks, how my nose looks, para makita nyo din kung yung mukha ko habang nagsasalita. So are you ready? Are you ready? Ah. Wait lang. Kuha kong tissue kasi I'm so sure na I'm all sweaty behind this mask. And yeah, so this is it. So any asymmetry na nakikita nyo, medyo kung feeling nyo sa camera, it's still uneven, especially pag my lighting on one side. It's because it's still healing and that's all normal. So any unevenness or asymmetry, it's all normal and it's still gonna improve over time along the way. And my nose is still gonna get thinner and smaller once it's all healed up. And overall, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm gonna show you if I insert ko dito yung before and after photos para ma compare natin. So this is it, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm just gonna insert this here muna, kasi I had my follow-up consultation with Doc yesterday, and sabi niya will still allow my nose to heal and. If there are any mo modifications, we can do it maybe after a couple of months. Pag medyo na heal na siya. And of course, kung modifications lang, small incisions lang, very minor, and it's not worth all the, all the you know, hassle and process. And it's still, we're still in the middle of the pandemic, so we're not in a hurry. If it's all swollen, it's okay, it's normal, it's still healing. Again, it's only been 10 days. Kaya chill lang. And hindi ko pa pala na explain sa inyo kasi, di ba, I told you na Doc is going to get cartilage from my ears. There have been some changes during the surgery kasi um, hindi niya naginalaw yung ears ko, which I'm really grateful about kasi wala na akong, you know, hindi na akong problema about the, the incision sa ears. So, wala, wala talaga sa ears ko. Yung ginawa lang ni Doc, he stitched my cartilage to give me a pointy tip. So, this is how it looks na. And yeah, I think this ends my vlog. I'm so happy because I can smile na just after 10 days and hindi na siya masyadong restricted. So, I'm so happy. Let me know what you guys think. And also, to those who are interested, um, I can put Dr. Fremont Passes link below in the description box para you can book your virtual consultation with him. That's it and I'm really glad that you guys are here with me. Thank you guys for watching. Wait. Like and subscribe Muna. <laughs> Bye.